The years gone by since your Olympic campaign, are you recovered from it all, all the excitement in Jingdao? Yeah, I'm certainly recovered, uh, back to the real world, but it was just an unbelievable experience to uh, have represented our country in Qingdao and uh, walk in that stadium in Beijing was just unbelievable. Well, you gave a lot of inspiration, kind of like Tom Watson in golf, that you uh, were able to still compete at that level. Well, it was really great. After three races, we were first, and uh, you know we were kind of a, a media buzz at that time. And it was, uh, as Ted Turner once told us, it's great to live a moment in the sunshine than a lifetime in the shade. And I had my moment, so it was great. Well, you should be proud of that. You've been a member of uh, U.S. Sailing Board here for about a year. What are what trying, things are you trying to achieve here as a board member of U.S. Sailing? You know, what impressed me was this annual meeting. I had no idea as a competitor for 40 something years of what it takes to run our organization. And just here, 120 people giving their heart, their soul, their time, uh, all the committees, just things from ISAF and things that we have to get involved in is what uh, made me realize it's easier being a competitor now trying to give back to sailing uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it just as you are. All righty, do you think we can move the ball down the court here? Uh, with your guidance and leadership in the board and, and all these committee chairmen and dedicated people, I'm 100% confident that uh, we're gonna improve U.S. sailing and uh, uh, across the board.